there's essentially three different types of lichen. In reality, there's more, but I don't want to get too in the weeds, so we'll st stick with the three major types. The first type of lichen is a crustose lichen. And just like the name implies, these are the lichens that form a crust on rocks, on pavement, on tree bark. They appear almost two-dimensional because they're so flat and they are found all over the place. Um, just walking outside and looking down at the sidewalk, I saw so many of these guys. And some of them I thought were bird poop, and to be fair, some actually were bird poop, <laughs> but the majority of the white spots on my sidewalk were crustose lichens covering everything. Likewise, they cover trees. These are extremely hardy lichens. These are amongst the longest lived lichens. And they're so tightly attached to whatever substrate they're growing on that if you want to remove a crustose lichen from a rock or a tree, you can't scrape it off. You pretty much have to scrape off a layer of bark or stone to get the lichen in one piece. The next type of lichen are foliose lichens. And these, like the name implies, are similar to foliage or leaves. These are lichens that look kind of leaf-like. Um, when you look at them, you'll notice that they very clearly have two different sides. There's a side that's usually lighter or more green colored that's supposed to be facing towards the sun. And then there's a back side that's usually dark brown or black or some other color because that's not where the photobiont is, right? The photobiont, the algae or the cyanobacterium, you want those to be close to the surface of, of the lichen so they can absorb sunlight easily. Whereas the back of the lichen that's far away from the sun, you don't need any photobiont there because the sun's not gonna penetrate that far. The final type of lichen that we're gonna concern ourselves with today are fruticose lichens. And they don't have anything to do with fruit. I know that it kind of sounds like that, but fruticose basically means shrub-like. So if you see a lichen that looks like it's a little tree or a little bush, it's growing up three-dimensionally out of the ground or off a tree or hanging off a tree or something like that, it's probably a fruticose lichen. And I find one of the easiest ways to identify a fruticose lichen is it's not flat and two-dimensional like a crustose lichen. And it's not like, it doesn't very clearly have two sides. It's not bilateral like a foliose lichen. It has almost three-dimensional stems and there's no very clear front side and back side. So if it looks like a little bush or a beard or it very clearly doesn't have a leaf-like structure with the front side and the back side, it's probably a fruticose lichen. 